Hi, I'm Max, and this is Mobile Max of West Hollywood, and uh, we're doing a intake manifold injector and clean intake port of an 09 Volkswagen Tiguan. As you can see, we've got the intake manifold off already, and uh, what happened was we did the coil packs and spark plugs on this car and uh, it still had a bit of a misfire and also there was a fault code about the uh, uh, runners on the intake manifold the uh, runner or flap sensor had a fault code so my recommendation and this is common on these 2.0T uh, Volkswagen engines is we had to pull the manifold in order to uh, change the manifold which do go bad and also, uh, while we're at it, we're going to change, put new injectors in, fuel injectors, because they do get clogged after time. And thirdly, we're going to clean out the intake ports, which gets full of carbon and gunk, and it's a common issuance. If you do the coil packs and uh, spark plugs on your 2.0T engine, CBFA, CCTA, etc., and you still have a misfire, chances are you're going to have to do this. The injectors get clogged and uh, you get carbon deposits in the manifold. I mean in the uh, intake ports of the cylinder head. Well, We've cleaned those intake ports and now we're putting the injectors on and then we'll, we'll uh, take the old parts off the manifold and put them on to our new manifold here. This is Eric, he's the main mechanic here. And uh, and this is an 09 Volkswagen Tiguan. It's got like about 80,000 miles, I think, on it. But anyway, <clears throat> he had to. Uh, you didn't have to pull the uh, fan off to get to the manifold, did you? Uh, no, not this time. Uh, not this time, even though it might have helped with a little bit of space, but it didn't absolutely need to. So you're able to get the intake manifold off without pulling uh, anything but the uh, oil filter? Oh uh, yeah, so the oil filter gets in the way and I can't uh, take pull out the uh, manifold off if I don't pull the filter out of the way. So, oh, you re did you move anything over here to get to anything? So here I took off the intake box, uh, it just pulls up, so it's, being, it's held by a clamp. You un you Pull the clamp, pull it out of the way. This the the air box. The air bag, the air box, yeah. Yeah, remove the air box. Yeah, and then you have this, this uh, kind of like a support arm that is On the held. bottom of the intake manifold, it's got a support. Yeah, it's got that, it's being held, but there's a stud that's uh, part of the manifold is being held by a 13 millimeter uh, nut. And then down here is being held by uh, one of these uh, triple squares. What size are those? I believe this one is... It's a 12 point bit, isn't it? It's a 12 point bit, yeah. Um, this one is a 38, I think that's what it says, or what is that? It says 10, but if you have a blue point, that's what, this, that's what the number is. Anyway, it's a 12 point bit that holds the uh, support bar for the intake manifold on the bottom. Yeah, and then you disconnect a couple of uh, wires and you need a what a 30 torque bit to remove the screws that hold the manifold onto the the head. Uh, yeah, so these are uh, 30 uh, star bit. The star bit, yeah, the, the torques. The torques. Uh, you got any uh, cautions for doing this job? Uh, so the caution I would do, I would say, is uh, th there's a lot of plastic tubing. Uh, a lot of it is brittle. Uh, very easy to break. Uh, they have these. Uh, places where you squeeze a lot of those things and, and they're supposed to wiggle loose. A lot of times they, they break, they snap. Uh, anything plastic pretty So much. what do you do to avoid breaking that plastic stuff? Uh, a lot of times you lubrication, uh, some WD-40 around those fittings. Uh, very, very, uh, you have to take your time. So there's no, I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm, I'm gonna lubricate this a little bit. The WD-40 works pretty good. Squeeze it and if not, you use a pick to try and release. So something's cheap like this, Harbor Freight part, 
um, you work around the edges of it. So you should take your time and don't break the plastic. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Mainly the plastic electrical connections. Electrical connections, uh, typically for an electrical connection on these kind of cars, you push forward. You use a little pry tool, a lot of times a screwdriver or something, just you hear a very, very, uh, very light click. Uh, typically that means it's, it's released. So you push forward, just a little bit of leverage, and then pull out, it should slip out. So Eric says, be careful, take your time, don't break the plastic connections or anything made of plastic. Yeah. Just lubricate it and uh, take your time and you'll get it off. Yeah. So this is a 2009 Volkswagen Tiguan with a 2.0T engine and we're removing and replacing the intake manifold, the fuel injectors, and we're cleaning the intake ports on the cylinder head. Thank you very much. This is Turn Around Again, Mobile Max of West Hollywood, 310-804-4185. Thank you.